Hello everyone and welcome to The Daily Splat. This is video update number two, I suppose, from my England trip. My return to the homeland, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, we landed okay last night at uh, Manchester Airport, around about six o'clock local time. Uh, got out, got off the aeroplane, got out of the airport pretty quickly and realised that it's bloody freezing. Now, it isn't actually freezing, it's... 9 degrees Celsius, but by comparison, we left Australia at uh, around about 28 degrees Celsius. There's a bit of a difference. Uh, anyway, we got uh, got back home, uh, over to me uh, Nana's place, which is where I am now. Um, obviously, a bit of a surprise for everyone, because they didn't know I was coming, and uh, very happy to see me, I'm glad to report. And pretty much went straight to bed, because I was very tired. Uh, haven't really suffered from the effects of jet lag today, which I'm pretty pleased with. Got up reasonably early at 7. Uh, watched the rerun of Match of the Day. Uh, very good. Um, yeah, and first day back in England, uh, yeah, it got up to quite a bit. Saw um, my, my other grandparents, went round to theirs, and uh, they're doing well. Met some cousins and, I suppose, uh, second cousins of mine for the first time. Um, I don't know, if your cousin has a child, is it a second cousin, or...? Anyway, I met one of my cousins, I met my cousin's children, uh, two of which I hadn't met before, so that was very nice. Um, yeah, and I've just, uh, yeah, just been out and about, and um, uh, the main point of today, I suppose, uh, in this travel log, uh, log, whatever it will be, um, is obviously when I was out for the walk, walking the dog this morning, and then um, I also had a trip to Tesco's, and and then when going to the other grandparents, is... Um, it's very strange. It's almost as though I've had my entire childhood thrown back in my face, <laughs> in a way. You know, just sort of forced upon me by seeing all these buildings. I remember being in a car as a, as a you know child, being driven past. You know, seeing old familiar shops and landmarks around the you know the Stockport area and Withington and things like that. And um, just this very odd sense of nostalgia, and just remembering little things that I'd forgotten about years ago and little streets and things of that nature. It's very, very strange. Um, essentially just almost living in memories. But at the same time, it is interesting to see how the progression of time has um, affected this area. Um, there are cinemas that uh, are no longer cinemas. They are now closed down. Um, a lot of the houses around my other grandmother's area are uh, they they have been uh, they've had the the fronts of the houses refurbished and they look they look quite good now. Um, beforehand they were you know pretty stock standard red brick affair, but they've added to them with these blue tiles and it's um, it really has freshened up the look of the area. It's very nice. Um, but the cold, the cold, my goodness, it's a different type of cold. I mean, there's cold in Australia, you know, but that's Australian cold. We do get single digit figures sometimes early in the morning and I have experienced it but it generally heats up here it's just cold throughout and um, it's taking a little while to acclimatise I've only had a day you know uh, hopefully I'll get used to it um, yes and also there's a there's a faint fog around everything in the distance around here which I'd forgotten about but uh, there you go anyway um, just happy to report that I'm alive and that uh, yeah, I'm um, having fun so far. Um, yes, but uh, just getting used to it. And um, I suppose I'm starting to feel the effects of the flight now. Because it's around um, 8 in the evening when I'm recording this. And uh, been off about 13 hours now and the body's just starting to go, mm, maybe you should go to sleep. So I will do after I've been to the pub, because that's uh, the current plan. Anyway, yes. Um, right, that is all for today. Tune in tomorrow, where you will probably hear me getting uh, uh, talking more about uh, what's going on here in England, but also possibly getting excited about my upcoming trip to Old Trafford to see Manchester United take on Benfica. Can't wait. Anyway, um, I'm just glad to be off the plane. That's the main thing. Okay, that is all. Until, uh, well, tomorrow, I guess.
Bye-bye.